I, I thought the fight with GSP was interesting in that as as I watched the great one, which he is. Um, found, found number one, though. I think so. And just is amazing at finding where you are. He'll he'll just, he's a master. Nate Marquardt told me that he's an amazing chess player, which makes amazing. sense. Amazing, right? Ridiculous chess player. Yeah. yeah. He's got such a strategic mind that he can see. Very well read. I'm sure he Very can well find read. where you're open. He's into like the history of war, like the art of mm. war. He, I remember he always had that book, Art of War, with him. Yeah. He always had a lot of history books with him. He likes the history of fighting. That makes sense. Wars. He's he's a student of the game, but um, I noticed for me that when he was throwing with Michael Bisbing, it it didn't look like the old GSP in that he looked like he was closing his eyes and turning away. Right there, it is. He's turning his head away, right? Mm-hmm. Now, maybe that was a strategy, That's but it, strategy. Looked, it looked like a liability. So let me start with, <clears throat> I, you know, I think George, he he looked great after four years layoff. He looked amazing mm-hmm. as far as doing what he did after a four-year layoff. Mm-hmm. That being said, I thought that was the worst version of George we've seen. Mm-hmm. I, think that's I, totally I thought his fair. footwork was slow. I thought he, little flat his, his flat foot, his stamina was awful. Mm-hmm. Um, he had he, the only reason he came back because Bisbing was the perfect opponent. Well, he had trained with Bisbing, right? And destroyed and, him. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought the only reason he decided to take the fight because Bisbing was the perfect opponent. So when the people go, he didn't have the same nerves. He looked good because, uh, again, I've trained with George. I've been with George in the back before his fights, been on the same fight cards, but. You know, George doesn't deal with, well with nerves. He gets more nervous than anyone. Anyone goes, I think he's over the hump. Um, no, he's over the hump because he knew what animal he was dealing with. Right. It's the unknown which gives you the nerves. Yeah. When you fight a guy in Bisbing, which was the perfect opponent, that's why he wasn't nervous. Right. So, you know, as great as George is, and after a four-year layoff and to finish Bisbing like that is great, and my hat's off to him. For me, he's pound for pound number one of all time now. Especially with John's issues, he's number one. That being said, I thought that was the worst version of George we've seen, and I don't think he beats anyone else at 185 uh i think he goes to 70 and, 70 and, says he, and he I, I didn't think 70. bisming looked great i thought i thought you know bisming is usually a guy granted and everyone goes oh he went out on his shield but he didn't fight like it was his moment his like body he, he looked a little different i noticed i think he, looked bisming, he always looks like that to me yeah he looked a little softer i don't know what it was he just mm. you know, it might be whatever. age it might be father yeah. time but sure. i also didn't think bisming was that <clears> aggressive he his footwork, he was so afraid of the takedown. He wasn't Bisbee. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But, he, but he, I mean, half, uh, again, I love George. I'm taking anything away from I, th- I thought he did great. Uh, hopefully the card does over a million pay-per-view. Best of all time now? That, that pay-per-view is the best of all time. And the fights before that were really good, too.